All right, what's up guys? This is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can increase your store's revenue by selling more products to your already pre-existing customers. So we're going to be using an app called Reconvert that allows you to upsell and cross-sell, but what this lets you do is it lets you do this post-purchase. So unlike a lot of upsells where somebody adds something to cart and you're already trying to upsell them, this upsell doesn't even take effect until after somebody has already checked out so once they've already confirmed their order then this is where these upsells are going to come into place which is why it's called a post purchase upsell so the good thing about post purchase upsells is it doesn't hurt your conversion rate at all because you're not trying to upsell them until after they've already bought so unlike other types of upsells they're not going to have any impact on your existing conversion rate whatsoever so with that said we're going to be using the reconvert app for this tutorial and i'm going to show you how you can set everything up in this video so we can see reconvert here on the shopify app store you can go ahead and get to this page by clicking the first link in the description you can see that it's got a high five star rating here in the shopify app store with almost 3,000 reviews so a lot of people use this app you may have already heard of it so we're going to go ahead and install it and walk through how to go ahead and set everything up. So once you go ahead and add the app to your store, you're going to be brought to this page right here. And what we need to go ahead and do first is we need to go ahead and make sure that reconvert is set as our post purchase upsell app on Shopify. So that way we have access to a lot of the new features within Shopify that allow one click upsells. So we can see right now, if we click check status, we can see that reconvert is not configured as your post purchase page app on Shopify. So we need to go ahead and follow these instructions really quick. So we're gonna go ahead and go to settings right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in a new tab really quick. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is come on down here to right here where it says post purchase page. And we can see that it says use an app to add features at checkout after customers have selected to pay for their order. So we're going to go ahead and select reconvert as our app. Then we're going to go ahead and click save right here. So if we were to come back here and check the status again, we can see that we are all good to go. And now we can go ahead and start setting up the actual app. So I'm going to go ahead and click start now. And there's going to be two options that we can go ahead and start with first. So we can go ahead and use a pre-existing optimized funnel that reconvert will create for us or we can go ahead and set it up manually so in this video i'm actually going to show you how to do both so we're going to start out by creating the automated funnel right here and then we'll make a manual one later on so we can see here that the automated one is going to be optimized to maximize conversions for your post purchase offers and on your thank you page Immediately after purchase, you'll show customers one-click upsells designed using best practices, and customers receive a total of two offers per order. And here's an example of what they will be seeing right here. So what we need to go ahead and do to go ahead and set up this first automated funnel is all we need to do is select a max discount right here. So this is going to be the maximum percentage off that the customer is going to potentially get if they decide to use one of our upsell offers and what this is going to do as well is the first upsell in this automated funnel that's going to be created is going to be half of whatever the max discount is so that's one thing that's important to know so by default it starts out at 30 so i'm going to go ahead and just keep it at that but if we were to change it to 40 then this first upsell here would be 20. We can see it changes. If we were to change it to 50, we can see that all these numbers change right here. So by default, I'm gonna just keep it at 30 and I'm gonna click on publish reconvert right now. And this is going to go ahead and create in the background. And then we are going to be brought to the funnel editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. We're going to go to the dashboard a bit later, but we can see here that this is the funnel editor within reconvert and this is the first funnel that was automatically created for us with one click just just by selecting our maximum discount percentage so we can see what's going to happen here is this is going to be the funnel and it may look confusing but it's actually really simple so we're going to walk through what actually happens here 
So we see the first thing is a customer completes their order. So that's going to be the trigger. And then after they complete their order, so we can see right here, this trigger is going to be any order. So it's all orders. And after they complete their order, they're going to be sent to this first upsell right here. And then if they accept this first upsell, they're going to be sent to a second upsell. And if they accept that, they are sent to a thank you page. Or if they decline the second upsell, they're also sent to a thank you page. If they decline this first upsell, then they are sent down here to the first downsell. And then whether they accept or decline that downsell, they will end up at the thank you page. So no matter what, they always end up at this thank you page here. It's just they go through a different path whether or not they accept or decline the upsells and downsells and if you were to go ahead and click on preview here you could actually see what these individual pages would look like so if you click on preview we can see this is what the first upsell actually looks like right here and we can see here if we open up the first upsell here by default it is going to be showing the most expensive product purchased as the upsell and we can see that it's going to be giving them a 15 percent discount and we can see down here that if they decline it it's going to show them that same item again so the most expensive product purchase but for a 30 percent discount and then over here the second upsell if they were to take this first upsell is they will go ahead and be shown a shopify product recommendation for a 30 percent discount right here so this is the first default funnel that is set up and it's definitely going to perform pretty well however you may want to create a custom funnel so that i'm going to show you how to do that as well so i'm going to go ahead and go back right now and we are going to be taking a look at the dashboard next so this is what the dashboard looks like here so we can see all of our analytics up here first so we can see the revenue generated by the apps we can see the sales we can see the accepted offers over time and we can see our value per order our AOV increase and our conversion rate. We can see what our default funnel is. So our default funnel is going to be used whenever none of the other funnel triggers are met. And we'll go over what funnel triggers are here in a second. And then we can see what our top converting funnels are. We can see what our default thank you page is. And then we can see what our top converting thank you pages are as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get into how you can go ahead and edit thank you pages as well also. So pretty much within reconvert, there is going to be two different types of ways that you are going to be upselling customers. And that is through the funnels. And then that is through the thank you pages. Now the funnels are going to be the primary upsell. And then the thank you pages are just going to be there as like an auxiliary. You can throw products on there if you want, but the funnels are going to be the primary way you're going to be upselling customers. So I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and create a, another funnel so if we come up here to the top menu and click on funnels we can go ahead and click on this and we can go ahead and see here that we have our default funnel which is the one that we created a second ago and now we're going to create a new funnel so we're going to create this from scratch so I'm going to click on empty funnel when you have an empty funnel what happens is we start off with order completed so we have to go ahead and select a trigger so by default, it sets up the trigger as all orders. So there's a lot of different triggers that we can go ahead and choose. So if we go ahead and open this up here, we can see that we can choose triggers based on customer information. So like their birthday, their email, and all this different stuff. We can choose it based off their order details. So there's a lot of different options in here as well. So one of the most common ones would probably be order value. So if you selected order value and you could say, is more than $50. So anytime someone has an order of $50, this could go ahead and trigger right here. In this specific case, I'm going to be using product purchase data. So there's a lot of different options in here as well. So let's say in this particular case, if somebody purchases a product with a specific product title, and let's say that this product condition, it only needs to be one product. So this means that if one product that they bought matches this product title, and we'll just do contains, and then in this case, shirt. So what this would go ahead and do is this funnel would activate every time somebody purchases a product that has the word shirt 
in the title. And you could go ahead and create another matching parameter if you wanted to by clicking and, or you could select the or option and have two different potential scenarios where this funnel activates. But in this case, we're just going to stick with the one scenario of it activates every time someone orders a product that contains shirt. If we go ahead and put shirt, press enter, we close this. And if we open it back up, we can see all of our information is right here. All right, so now that we have our trigger set up for everyone that buys a shirt, we're gonna go ahead and add in an upsell for it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is click create a new offer. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is every time someone buys a shirt, I'm going to try and sell them a second shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to product options here. And we can see that right now it's selecting the most expensive product purchase. But in this particular case, I wanna select a specific product. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this product here. So I'm gonna select a shirt. So we're going to try and upsell them a shirt here. And we can go ahead and edit all of the upsell information seen on here with all of these buttons here on the left. So we can go ahead and change the offer name. So I will call this additional shirt offer. And we can go ahead and change the title text right here where it says don't miss out on this offer. We could put in something like... get another shirt for 20% off and we can go ahead and center that and we can go ahead and pretty much put whatever text in here that you want product options is where we can choose which products that we wanted to go ahead and use discounts here this is where we can actually go ahead and set the discount so in this particular case we're going to do 20% off this shirt here and then if we come down here to the timer we can see this is this timer right here so if we click to get rid of the timer then it's gone or we can keep the timer in here for scarcity so this is something you can split test and see what works better for you and we can change the timer color we can change the text the duration and its position and everything right within here and then lastly we can go ahead and edit the actual button here so we can change the button text and the cool thing about reconvert is the actual design on here you don't really have to edit too much because they have a magic designer feature which actually will go ahead and import all of the data from your existing shopify store and match the design of their landing pages and their funnel with your current design colors so like all the buttons and everything will match the colors of the buttons from your store automatically and your logo and everything will automatically be imported so it saves you a lot of time and effort right there so i'm going to go ahead and click save so now we just have to go ahead and choose what happens if somebody accepts this upsell or if they decline it so if they accept it in this particular case i'm going to just send them to the thank you page so now we just to go ahead and have to add another option for if they decline. So if they don't accept this upsell, then I'm gonna try and downsell them at least once. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add downsell and I'm gonna create a new offer. And this time I'm going to try to sell them something else. So if they didn't wanna buy an additional shirt, maybe they will want to buy a watch. So I will go ahead and just put in watch downsell. I'm not gonna edit all of the copy text um, right now for the sake of the video because I don't want the video to be too long But if we come down here to select product once again in this particular case We're going to select a specific product again, and I'm going to select this watch And we are going to set this discount to 20% as well And then I'm going to go ahead and click save and then all we have to do is specify what happens if they decline the watch down sell so we're going to just send them to this thank you page and just like that we've created a custom funnel so pretty much what happens here is every time somebody buys a shirt on our store they are going to be upsold an additional shirt for 20 percent off and if they accept this offer then they're sent to the thank you page if they decline this offer they're, they're going to see a down sell that offers them to buy a watch from our store for 20 percent off and if they decline that, they're sent to the thank you page. And if they accept that, they're sent to the thank you page, which we have to set right here. And if we click save here, we can see that this is done. So we can see that that's how easy it is to go ahead and create your own custom funnels within reconvert. 
So the default funnel is the one that shows on all products, but, but this particular funnel is only gonna show up when people buy shirts. So depending on what you're selling in your store, you may wanna create um, different types of custom funnels. So that's how you can go ahead and do that. And the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just double click up here to change this funnel name to shirt purchase funnel, just that way we know what it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we save it. And I'm gonna go ahead and back out here. So now that we've created a funnel, we're gonna go ahead and see what the funnels actually look like live. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the store really quick. And first, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a pair of boots. So what this purchase should do is it should send us to our default funnel right here. So we can see this conversion monster funnel, which is the first one that was created. This is default. So this is going to show up on all orders, except on all orders that don't hit an individual trigger. And then we have this trigger right here. So we're gonna make sure this is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase one of these right now and we're going to see what it looks like. All right, so we went ahead and added the pair of boots to our cart here and now we are going to go ahead and check out. So if we go ahead and pay now, we can see that we should be brought to the default upsell here, which is going to first show us the most expensive product that we purchased here so in this particular case it should just show us the boots so we can see now once this goes ahead and loads up we can see that now we are showed this upsell right here where we have 15 percent off the boots so we are now shown our default funnel so in this case i'm going to go ahead and decline the first offer which means we should be sent to the same product here except for 30 percent off which we are now being shown right here so let's say in this particular case i go ahead and decide to get the upsell now we are going to be brought to the thank you page right here so this is going to be the default thank you page that is created inside of reconvert so we can see there's a couple suggested products right here we can see there's a pop-up right here with a discount code and we can see that there is our social media icons here and we can go ahead and customize this thank you page which i'll show you how to do in a couple of minutes but now that we've ran through this part of the funnel i want to go ahead and see if we can run through our other funnel here the shirt purchase funnel so we're going to go ahead and do that right now so this time i'm going to go ahead and buy a shirt and we're going to see what this part of the funnel looks like so now we have a shirt in our cart here and we're gonna go ahead and check out right now. And we will see that we should be brought to the other funnel that meets our condition here in just a second. So now we can see that we are seeing our other conditional funnel right here. So we are not in the default funnel that we saw before. We are now down our shirt purchase funnel right here. So now we can see any since we bought a shirt, we are now being shown the opportunity to get another shirt for 20% off. So let's say I go ahead and decline this. We should now be shown the watch, which we are right here. So now we can go ahead and get the watch for 20% off. So let's say in this case, we're going to go ahead and do it. So I go ahead and pay now. And then we are brought to the thank you page once again. So if we come back over here to the reconvert app and now we head to the dashboard here once again, we can see that now we are going to have some sales data showing up in our analytics here. So we can see that we have revenue generated by the app is showing up right here. We can see we have 66% of accepted offers, conversion rate of 40%, our value per order and our AOV increase right here. So this is what our analytics actually look like when we actually have sales coming in. And we can go ahead and see our statistics for our funnels here. So we can see now that the shirt purchase funnel has generated $86 in revenue and the default funnel has generated $60 in revenue right here. So we can see how powerful these funnels actually are. We can see the last activity and everything down here. And then we can also see the performance of our thank you page. We can just see right now we just have two impressions and that's it. So that's how you can set up and customize funnels and that's how they 
and that's how we can see how certain ones actually trigger. So the last thing we're going to be taking a look at now is how to go ahead and customize thank you pages. So if we go here to thank you pages right here, we can go ahead and see that we have our default thank you page right here. We could go ahead and create a new template if we want, but I'm going to go ahead and just customize this existing one just so I can show you how the editor actually works. All right, so now we're inside the thank you page editor here and we can see that it's split into two separate areas. So we have the left area right here and we have the right area right here. Now there's a couple sections within these areas that we actually cannot remove. So we can see here in the left area, we have the order confirmed section within Shopify. Now this section cannot be removed. And then we have the customer information section and this section cannot be removed either. However, it can be relocated. So we, we can see here we have this custom social sharing section in here by default. And we could go ahead and drag that below the customer information or drag it above. So we can relocate these um, different screens if we want to. However, we can't actually get rid of them. So in this case, you can see like I could go ahead and drag this down here and the order confirm screen would be on top. And if we go back really quick to the right area, we can see that this order summary here is the one thing that has to be here all the time and cannot be removed. And the difference is on this side is we cannot drag anything on top of this. So this order summary always has to be here in the top right. So now that we've went through that, we can go ahead and take a look at some of these custom sections. So we can see here in the left area, we have product recommendations and social sharing as two custom sections. So if we go ahead and click on add section, we can see that we have a lot of different sections here that we can go ahead and add in. So we can add in a few different ones. We'll just run through them really quick. So we have a birthday collector widget right here. So this is where you can go ahead and collect your customers' birthdays. So maybe you can send them like a discount on their birthday. We have a call to action right here, which is text and a button. We have a collection list, which would show up as a list of a product collection if you go ahead and add that here. We have custom HTML. We have a discount section right here, so we can go ahead and add in the specific discount using one of our coupon codes in our store. We just have uh, blank text. We have an image with text. We have a list of links. We have post purchase surveys. So if you wanna go ahead and have a survey afterwards, we have product recommendations here, which is what we already have up there. We have a specific product upsell which is what shows up on our upsell funnel pages that we saw earlier. And we have a reorder button so we can reorder a specific product. And obviously we have the social follow buttons, social media links, social sharing, and then we can also throw in a video if we want to. So as far as what sections to use and what to put in here, it's really all going to vary depending on your store and what type of look that you are specifically going for. So there's not really a specific one size fits all. It just depends on what you're trying to do and what you think fits with your store's branding. So the important thing to know is just how to actually use the editor and how to actually customize all of this content to your liking. So that's how you can go ahead and add sections. Now let's say here, if we went ahead and backed out and we didn't want a section. So let's say we didn't want like the birthday collector, for example, we could click on this. And whenever you actually click on any of these widgets, you can go ahead and edit all of the stuff. So editing all this stuff is very easy. It's just like editing anything within Shopify pretty much. So we can go ahead and edit our text right here. We can edit the date format, etc. But let's say we didn't actually want this section. We could come down here to delete section right here. And just like that, it's gone but you wanna make sure that if you are clicking delete section that you actually wanna delete it because once you delete it, there is no like undo button. So once it's deleted, it's gone. If you want it back, you're gonna have to recreate the whole thing again. So just make sure that you're careful when you are deleting sections here. And then just like editing everything earlier, when you go ahead and come in, you can just edit everything by clicking on these different options here on the left. So it's the same exact editing process as it was earlier. So it's very intuitive and easy to go ahead and use. 
So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is once you are done editing everything, you can go ahead here into general settings and we can see that we have magic designer synced. So this is what's going to sync all of our buttons and logos and stuff. And we can go ahead and include stuff like order tracking. We can go ahead and edit our header and things like that within the general settings. And once we've gone ahead and customized our thank you page to our liking, we can go ahead and just click save. And what you can go ahead and do is you can create like multiple different thank you pages and you can split test them. And then you can go back to the dashboard and you can actually see the analytics or you can just see the analytics here on the thank you page. And you can go ahead and see which thank you page is actually outperforming the others and then you can switch to the one that's performing the best so you can split test a few di different designs if you want so now i want to go ahead and take a look at the pricing here so if we go over to pricing so we'll go over to pricing here and i'm gonna have to zoom in because this is kind of small we can see that it goes on a rolling basis depending on how many orders you have so the app is actually free to start out so if you have under 50 orders a month the app's going to be free so no matter what you're getting full functionality of the app no matter um, what stage you're at so there's no features that are locked behind a paywall or anything so it's essentially just the more orders that are actually processed through your store the more you're going to end up paying for the app so essentially if you're getting a lot of orders, then most likely you're going to be getting a lot of upsell conversions as well. So the app will essentially pay for itself. So you can see it's a tiered system here. So if you have between 50 and 99 orders, then it's $7.99 a month and etc. All the way up to 50,000 or more orders costs $7.99 a month right here. So the tiered pricing system is pretty cool because you're pretty much only paying if you are actually already generating sales within your store as it is. So there's really no risk to going ahead and setting it up. And they do have 24 seven live chat support right here if you have any questions or concerns. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and increase revenue on your store through post purchase upsells using the reconvert app. That's how you can set everything up. So be sure to check out reconvert by clicking the first link in the description. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.